When clients come to our firm, we like to take a comprehensive look at their financial issues and come up with a whole wide range of solutions and not just one cookie cutter type of you know, filing of chapter seven for this and chapter 13 for that. I, I think a lot of people don't realize that there are lots of other uh, solutions that are available under state laws. So of course everyone knows that there's federal bankruptcy laws and that trumps state laws but there are lots of other uh, options to consider. So I'd like to give you two examples. The first would be uh, if you have a house that's uh, facing foreclosure, and then the second one is what if you have a business and the business is, uh, is not doing well or it's already closed. Well, first let's talk about the house. If you're behind on your payments and you're facing foreclosure, a lot of people can you know, file for Chapter 13 and it will delay possibly or stop the foreclosure but there are lots of other remedies that you could consider like um, doing a deed in lieu now a deed in lieu what that is it's kind of like a bit of a friendly foreclosure if you will it's a situation where we negotiate with the bank to save them all of the cost and expense of going through a foreclosure and we agree that after a certain period of time We'll have our clients sign the title away back to the bank, and it's a pretty quick and uh, inexpensive process. But a lot of times it allows the homeowner to stay in their house for a longer period of time. It's not like you just get foreclosed on and evicted. Now, another option is uh, to talk about a forbearance agreement. Now, forbearance is a short-term solution. So let's say you are in the middle of two jobs or if you know that for three or six months you're going to have a period where you can't make the full mortgage payments or you're behind. Well, in a forbearance, instead of the bank going forward to foreclose, you simply agree with them to pay either less or to not pay the mortgage for a certain period of time. And people are really surprised that a lot of these lenders will, they would rather have you do a short-term forbearance than have to go through all of the cost and expense of a foreclosure. So that's one way of handling these. Uh, and of course there's a short sale. Now a short sale is a great example of what happens if the house is simply worth less than the amount of the mortgage. Um, in this example, let's say the house is worth 150000 but your mortgage is 200000 well, in a short sale, you market the house like everyone else, and you, uh, if you find a buyer comes along, then you bring the contract to the bank and you ask the bank to accept this lower price. And if so, they sign off on it and you don't have any liability. Really quick, let's also talk about if you own a business. Now, of course, a business can file for Chapter 11 or Chapter 7 liquidation, but there's a couple of other solutions. First, um, if there are a lot of debts and maybe a lot of assets, the court can appoint a liquidator or a receiver. It's basically a state uh, process. It's uh, much like a bankruptcy, except you're dealing with a local state judge to handle this. Another scenario is if you have simply one major secured lender. So let's just say that a company has um, you know, one really big debt and lots of small debts after that. Well, frankly, it's a lot like a deed in lieu where you would hand over the keys. But in this case, you're essentially handing over the keys to the business and this one senior secured lender takes the assets. So that's one more way to look at things and uh, another solution out there in addition to bankruptcy.